Hello guys, so we're starting to build the Laravel Checklister project. For those of you who haven't seen the previous video yesterday, I started a series where we'll build a real project for a real client, step by step, day by day, in kind of live coding mode. So the project is for those of you who don't know, will be a checklister. So checklists and check groups and then checking and unchecking the items. In today's video, we are tackling two first things from plan of actions, which is installing Laravel and adding core UI theme. Core UI theme looks like this. It's based on Bootstrap 4, it's free. And in this lesson, we will add that on top of default Laravel. So we begin by just doing Laravel new checklister it will create a folder, it will install Laravel inside of it. Locally, I'm using Laravel Valet, which will take care of the domain. So domain will be automatically in my browser, checklister.test. And sometimes in the comments, I get asked, how do I get that dot test? So I'm just using Laravel Valet. So we already have Laravel project and locally I can load checklister.test. Now let's take care of the core UI. And there are multiple ways how you install that project, but before we install that project front-end part, we need to take care of Laravel authentication. So there are starter kits for Laravel, like Laravel Breeze, Laravel Jetstream, and Laravel UI. And we need to install some of them to scaffold authentication, and then on top we add Core UI. Since Core UI is based on Bootstrap, we will install the Bootstrap version, Laravel UI. Some people think that it's outdated and it doesn't work anymore, but it still does. For those of you who don't know, Laravel UI is still working, but just won't receive new features. It will be updated for Laravel 9, 10, and 11 in the future, or that was the promise from Taylor Otwell. So we can install it, Laravel UI. The installation is simple, Compose require Laravel UI. Then we generate the scaffolding based on bootstrap. So this one, PHP artisan UI bootstrap dash dash auth. Oh, we need to CD to checklister and I've run that compose require on the wrong folder. So compose require Laravel UI on the right folder of checklister. And then we run artisan UI bootstrap auth. Cool. Then we need npm install and npm run dev to compile the front end assets. And this takes a bit longer. Okay, we have success. And now if we refresh our checklister.test, refresh, we should see login and register and with Laravel UI bootstrap theme. We also need to run the migration. So PHP artisan migrate and I've configured the database. So created the database manually before. Now we have users. And if we try to register with fake filler Chrome extension, we register and we're in. Great. So now our task becomes to transform visually this one into core UI. But before we do that, let's create a GitHub repository and push the current code to there. So we would have separate steps. So install Laravel, one commit, then core UI, another commit. So it would be clearer even for you to analyze the code changes one by one. Laravel checklister, for example, private repository for now, I will make it public a bit later. We create the repository. And let's push our code. So we go back to terminal, we are in checklister folder, so git init, and then just copy one by one, git add everything that we've got so far, then we git commit first commit, but probably with a different message. So git commit message installed Laravel and Laravel UI, like this. Then we change the branch to main as GitHub suggests. We add that origin copy paste and we push to the origin. It is done. And if we refresh the GitHub now, it already contains the code. Great. So now let's add core UI. If we go to the official core UI documentation and introduction, installation comes with git clone like usual theme, but there is a common problem kind of or situation with front end themes. Of course, they don't know what you have on the back end, whether it's Laravel or Python or whatever is the language. So you need to install somehow two projects, your Laravel project and that core UI theme. Luckily for core UI, there is an alternative instruction of using CDN. So all you need to do is add CSS. I will zoom it in a bit for you. So add CSS, then add JS, and then there's a starter template. So you can just copy and paste that HTML. And instead of that H1 in the body, you do your content and then manually add more sections like sidebar, navbar, or footer. And we will do that step by step. 
So if we take a look at the fundamental layout, layouts app blade in Laravel UI, here it is with some HTML, with some menu items. And what we care about actually is yield content, then logout form, and a few more small details. But generally we can copy and paste the starter template just like this, copy all of it. Let's put it on top and comment out, actually let's comment out everything for now and put this instead. And instead of H1, we do yield content. Instead of core UI, we should probably do something like this. So title config app name Laravel, like this. And let's refresh our page. We refresh and we have, we should have core UI. Yeah, we have the main thing of core UI. What's missing is sidebar, header and footer. And one by one, let's add those. To do that, we go to the demo page of that core UI, zoom out and go to the source of that and look for sidebar. Okay, and we have the sidebar with a lot of menu items and let's copy all the sidebar and we will leave only the things that we actually need. Okay, we copy the sidebar, we paste it before yield content for now with static text and let's refresh the page and see if it worked. Great, we have the sidebar. Let's do the same with the header. Probably we need all of those with the header and menu items, subheader. Okay, let's leave it as it is. And we have the header. Probably this is okay. Or actually let's add C body and C main as well and add them here. And then we should close with main and div. Let's try it out, refresh the page. For now it's all static, but we do have the header. Actually, let's delete that home admin dashboard part. We will not need it in this project. So delete that one, refresh. And now let's get rid of all the details that we don't need and transform it into our Laravel content project. Also while clicking around, I've noticed that the sidebar doesn't work. So I've opened the console and noticed that core UI sidebar require perfect scroll bar. It's a package. And for the perfect scroll bar, since we're going CDN way, we're loading core UI from CDN and not from NPM. I found CDN for perfect scroll bar and we need to copy, for example, link tag into our app blade on top in here. And then JS, min JS, for example, down below at the bottom here. I'm not sure if it would work, but let's try it out. Refresh the page and still same error. Maybe it should be before like this. Refresh. Yeah, no error. So the sidebar is loaded. Great. And it works. Also, I see we're missing the icons. So again, in the console, I see the error that we are missing the SVG for icons. And let's try to download it from the original theme. So if we open the source again, look for free.svg, free icons, and let's copy that URL. So vendor score UI icons, and then we copy that and paste into here. Probably it should be here and then without view source. Okay, it's loading something. So we save that free SVG. I already had downloaded, so I will replace it. And then I copy that free SVG from my downloads into my folder of vendor score UI icons SVG. So we will create a subfolder of new directory vendors at core UI icons SVG like this. And I have copied the SVG file from downloads to here. Now we refresh our page and let's see if it loads the icons. Yay, it does load the icons. Great. And now I will transform that app blade into what we actually need. So we don't need the branding part. We need the sidebar item with an example of simple menu item. That's good. So we leave the dashboard, we leave the theme. So what is the theme and then menu item? We don't actually need that. We need the components and base and sub item example. So for theme, we can delete this one. For the components, we'll leave those. So base, and then there's a sidebar link for one of those. So we we'll leave one of the links. As example, we will transform that in actual Laravel routes later. And then there are buttons and all of that. We don't need those anymore because we only need the example menu items like this. And if we refresh the page, 
we have only the things that we need. So we have example menu items and that's it. Now for the header, we also don't need those. We just need those items from what I remember from the actual design. So let's leave only right hand side. Okay, so let's remove dashboard users and settings. And also we probably don't need the logo and we don't need this one. Let's leave the right hand side this one. And actually everywhere we need to change the vendors to asset vendors so it would work on any subdomain or anything it won't be a relative path so like this does it still work yep it loads the icon great so let's replace that in a few more places so vendors like this and perhaps that's it for now and let's add another item so like dashboard item just a simple sidebar nav item down below here let's call it logout remove the new and let's transform it to be a bit more readable like this and now let's look at the original core ui what was the logout button there so here it is we need the form and the link so this one we copy all of that get back to logout here what we need is let's make it more visible so we need the route logout instead of index html then we need the on click thing great so we add that then we need to make it multi-language as the client asked for and then we need to add that logout form down below for example class d non so it won't be visible let's try it out refresh the page and we have the logout let's try to log out actually it works and we register again with fake filler. So we register and we are logged in. So login logout mechanism works, but we need to fix it to add, to use a different theme. So we don't need sidebar and header for the login and the register. And from core UI demo, there is a thing called pages and login and you land on this one. We don't need to have like fancy sign up with colorful stuff, but we need the layout of that. So let's open the source and let's build a new layouts file. So file save as, for example, let's call it auth blade, another blade file. And then we don't need the perfect sidebar here. And for the body, it will be probably different. So let's copy body part here until login, remove everything. And we need the body here. And let's count it one, two, three, four, five, six divs before the body. So like this, six divs, and then yield content, yield content. But of course we need the unpackage core UI. So these two, and then we open the register blade, for example, from Laravel UI and change that it extends not layouts app but layouts auth and now if we refresh and open the register page now it doesn't have any sidebars or nav bars or anything we just probably need to change for example call md8 to call md12 to make it full width and we're good we can register now and log out also, we need to do the same thing with login and all the blade files that are in resources, views, auth. So login extends auth and call md12, refresh, we're good. And same with all the other. So verify blade, auth12, passwords, auth12. Okay, so forgot your password should also have this design. Great. So we can get back, register, and probably for this lesson it's enough. So we have core UI with hard-coded stuff. And then in the next lesson, we will start building the actual application. And along the way, we'll fix those small details of core UI that we missed or haven't used or details that need all the changes. So in the next lesson, 
probably tomorrow. I'm not sure if I shoot this video daily. If I have other topics, then I will probably include another topic and then checklist or video is the day after. So at least every two days, I will have a series of building this project from beginning to the end. If you want to get those videos, subscribe to the channel and also support my mission financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now. It's from myself and my team and see you guys in other videos.